So these massive updates for Fallout 76 have got to stop, or at the very least, slow down. The last update for Fallout 76 had us downloading yet another 50 gigabyte patch for this game, which is the second one we've seen since launch, because the game came out, and with this day one patch, around 50 gigabytes, and now this update. And in the span of not even two weeks since the launch of the game, you've had to download around 150 gigabytes for this game, man. And that's between the actual game itself and the two patches we've had so far. And there might even be a third one, I can't remember. I'm not entirely sure, but at least around 150 gigabytes. And these are massive updates. We've seen this during the beta as well. These are content size updates. These are the kind of updates you'd see for another game when they're adding things to the game, like a new game mode, DLC, expansions, whatever the case. Like these are these size updates. These are the updates that Elder Scrolls Online gets. This is a, honestly this is why I stopped playing Elder Scrolls Online because I'm as much as I enjoy that game, I just could not keep up with, you know, upwards of like 70 gigabyte updates. And it's just like I don't have the internet capacity to download something like that. So I stopped playing that game. And that's kind of what's happening here, because with this last update, there's a lot of people that are just like kind of giving up on the game. And to be honest, I can kind of understand that. As somebody who has terrible internet, which is part of what factors into that a little bit, it's just like hard for me to want to keep playing this game. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I told you all that from the beginning, though, that like if the game has massive updates, I don't know if I can really keep up with it. And that's what we've seen so far. You know, the lowest we've seen, the lowest update for this game we've seen is like 30 something gigabytes, which is still pretty decently sized. And it's not even just a bad internet thing, though, because some people just don't have unlimited data. So you so far had to commit, again, 150 gigabytes, roughly, to the launch of this game already in the span of not even two weeks. And not a lot of people have that kind of extra data. Like, some people just pay for so much a month, and it's like, you got to commit so much just to play this game. Another one is storage space. you got to commit so much of your hard drive to this one game. Me, myself, I just have, like, a... Xbox One I got in 2015 that just has a one terabyte like internal hard drive. I could get an external hard drive if I wanted to, but I just don't have one. And I got to commit, you know, more than a tenth of the space that my Xbox even has to this one game. And let's be completely honest, with all the massive updates we've seen throughout the beta and so far the launch of the game, nothing really feels that improved. The game definitely performs better. It doesn't just stutter all the damn time, but I still get the stuttering and frame drops here and there. I still have been disconnected from the server at least once the last time I played. You still have the bad enemy AI at times where like they're just like T-posing, floating around. Sometimes they don't even acknowledge you. And I'll admit, I don't know anything about game development. Some of this stuff is probably hard to do, especially when it's your first multiplayer game ever. Like Bethesda Game Studios' first multiplayer game ever, it's probably difficult to fix a lot of this stuff. But that's kind of the problem here is we're downloading these massive updates for this game and nothing really feels like it's changing. Like some of this stuff is a little bit better. You don't run into this stuff as often, but it's still very much there. And it's like, it seems almost pointless to even download the update. Because even if you download it, it might still feel the exact same to you, or say you have slow internet, by the time you get done downloading this update, it might be another update. Because we've seen this one come out five days after the game launched, and of course there's a day one patch. So in the span of five days, you had to download two separate 50 gigabyte updates. And for some people, if you have bad internet, throttle internet, or if you have a data cap, you just cannot download this. You cannot keep up. And I realize completely that this is a first world problem, but this is just another thing in the long list of things that is going to kill this game. You already have all the hate surrounding this game, based on like the lack of NPCs, the linear questing, the repetitive nature of the game. You have the bugs and all that other stuff. It being a multiplayer game is definitely going to hurt it as well. There's a lot of the community that did not even want a multiplayer Fallout, and the cells are down, at least in the UK, like 80% from Fallout 4, which 80% of the Fallout 4 cells is still a lot. That game sold like 13 million. It's the highest selling Fallout. So like 80% of that's still like a couple million, which some games don't even break a million cells. So it's still a decent selling game. It's kind of bad for the Fallout series. And even through all this, all the negativity, all the bad press surrounding this game, you still have its fans that want to keep playing it, but then you're throwing these massive updates at them constantly, and you're going to deter the people that are committed to this game. And I'm one of those people, you guys know that. I legitimately enjoy playing this game, even if it is linear in a lot of ways. I understand why certain people don't like it. I get the lack of NPCs bothers people, the repetitive nature of the game bothers people, but I just like exploring the game and playing multiplayer if I want to. Having that option is kind of nice. But as somebody who does enjoy playing this game, I'm being deterred by these massive updates. Like, within the first week of this game, we've already had 100 gigabytes of patches. That is unheard of. I've never seen something like that for a game at all. And this stuff has me kind of worried about the future content for this game, because these are just patches, updates to fix problems with the game. Imagine what the download sizes are going to be when they're actually adding content to the game, like potentially map expansions, like something like the Capital Wasteland. That's the big theory, that maybe because we're kind of close to the Capital Wasteland, that they might do a map expansion where we can explore that again. 
If that happens, imagine what that download size is going to be like when a patch for the game is 50 gigabytes. I don't really know what the answer is here because you can't stop updating the game and trying to fix it and patch it. But this all kind of just goes back to the beta. <laughs> they should have had the beta like a normal beta. A couple months ahead of time. They could have got ahead of all these issues if the beta happened when a beta is supposed to happen, not a couple weeks before launch. And I realize me and other people have been complaining about that beta for a while now, but it's the truth. If it happened a few months back like they're supposed to, the game could have at the very least launched in its current state, and maybe our updates would be a little bit smaller, or maybe a little less frequent. Anyways guys, that's a video I felt like making, a discussion I wanted to have with you guys. Let me know your thoughts below about these massive updates, because it's going to deter a lot of people eventually. If it hasn't yet, it will if it keeps being this frequent. And that gets a multitude of things. It could be slow internet throttled internet data caps or maybe even something like storage space maybe some people just don't want to delete a bunch of their games for this one game either way leave your thoughts in the comments below and if you guys enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you guys are new turn on notifications follow me on twitter at the dashing david i'm a discord links to my social networks are in the description and in the outro later guys Or at least less like